I've found about two four MPs. You know, that's not being mounted. That's just high in there. It's fun to drive. Don't get me wrong. I love driving this one. But. Press and hold a little bit. There you go. God. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> it's electric throttle. It's not cable, so there's no pressure behind it. I think I can get it driving it. Huh? Just gotta practice driving it. <laughs> yep. Check your mirrors and all that, that's going to be the main thing. Yeah. Well, right now, how old is he? He's, he's, he's going to be 17. 16? All right. He's going to be 17. He's crashed all my cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I crashed one. You know what? He's going to be a lot more safer than this one. <laughs> I thought it would be a little bumpier. No, it rides pretty good. Just got done looking at our bus right now, pulling up to the ATM. Right here. I'm talking to guys at work today. Um, I did throw the stop sign in there too. Oh, I want that. You want to hook it up? Check the laws, cause one. No, yeah, Oops, I dropped it. Yeah, I'm bad. I don't think you can. I right now just bought a bus, and I gotta drive this home. I'm, I'm kind of scared to put it in the drive. I'm gonna look. About to pull out into the main road, about to go home. I'm excited. I'm like, sick. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm scared, nervous, or like. Got the bus. We're on our way home. We're gonna turn this bus into an RV and travel across the country. Going on my first turn right now. The brakes, the brakes feel pretty nice, but. What do you think? <laughs> it's dirty. I wanna oh it's a mess. It smells bad. Hey. Turn that on? battery here. Just drove my first school bus, like 35 minutes. It was I was going like 55 then expressway. I got up to 65, almost 70. But I think I'm gonna power wash the outside just to get a fresh outside. Then start tearing apart the inside, open the back gate, tear these seats out, throw these Garbo couches out, and throw, just throw everything out right here. It's got these couches. I just want to get new and get rid of that. You guys like it? Yeah. yeah. And then my first plan to start in this back area, I want to get my bed set up. Then on this side, I was going to have an L desk, then a wall, then bunk beds. But I'll show you guys the plan. I'll make that tonight. But I'm just going to grab uh, the power washer and just start power washing and cleaning. But this is pretty much the bus so far.
It's not bad. It's really easy and fun to drive. So I, I actually kind of really enjoying it. But I'm gonna go over the full, uh, walk through, show you guys the engine, the brakes. So, but I'm gonna start power washing the outside, get that, and then clean the inside out. Then I'll probably ask for a couple of buddies to come over tomorrow or maybe tonight. I'll see, and uh, start working on it. So let's uh, just start working on this so we can clean. So we just measured it, and it came out to a total of 39 feet. That is pretty long. But let me pull out the power wash real quick, set this camera down. And I am cold, so I might put a couple layers on. Just got the fresh power wash on it. The rims came out pretty good. Not too bad. Got a lot of the dirt off. It looks actually pretty nice. Like, the guy, he did this, like, weird paint job. Not weird, but it was just, like, a paint and uh he had to get it out of there quick out of the auction place quick so he had to hurry up and just paint it so he put this stuff on it power wash it i think i'm gonna open this back door i'm gonna clean out this edging right here and then i'm gonna start tossing out these couple of couches i don't want see and see what you have to do to take out these seeds probably just grind them all off and something i am actually really dreading right now I wonder if we can floor on top of it because I don't want to do this. You see this little path, this the walkway? Look at all these screws here. There's screws going down the whole thing. So I think I'm going to rip everything out first and then it's really like dusty and just dirt, dirty. It's not perfect. So I'm going to pull that out. Bunch of rust stuff. So yeah, just, let's get to work. Oh, this guy that we got it from, uh, Either he didn't know what he was screwing or the screw just did not attach. But there's legs on these couches right here. They show they, they have screws in them, but uh, they don't at all. So I'm just going to rip it out and just toss it out the back door. I, think. Uh, I don't need it. First thing is out. So I'm going to break this real quick to see if I can shove that in the trash. And uh, pull these couches out. Pulling out this front little guard thing, cause I'm gonna build. A, I'm gonna. I'll just show you guys in that build video. But I'm gonna build something right here, just for like storage and stuff. So a couple bolts. Uh, they rusted like totally off. Let me see if I can find one. But the bolts just completely rusted all the way off. Like they just pretty much snapped off. So it came off pretty easy. Had to take the like the cushion off so I can get the last bolt out over there and that's it and pull it out I'm excited this is the first thing that I took out of the bus that took work so let's pull this out Torque gun and got that working pretty good on this. There's two two bolts on each side and two bolts on the wall. And uh, I found out the easiest way to do that and get these seats out for this back part right here. Let me turn you guys. So for this back part, I tore off like the corner a little bit, so you can get the torque gun inside there and get the last bolt out. So I'll just tear that off. It makes kind of a little mess, a little styrofoam, but I can take that off. You can get to there, and usually it comes off, and this is what's been happening to the bolts so far. They look like that. So, it don't look that bad, but I got this first one out, second one, and it's already making it feel a lot bigger. Can't wait to just sweep and clean it, but let me tear this out real quick.
quick little update on the bus. Got most of the seats out. Just got this front seat off right here. This one's been having me a problem, like the, the wall that goes right there. There's no way you can get to the other bolt on the other side of that right there. Like, there's no possible way you can get to it. You have to, like, take it all apart and get to it. So I can't get that. Actually, let's pop the hood. I want to just take a look. This and he pulled up my cable line and got Oh no, I was gonna resplice the cable line. <laughs> I don't really uh, know a lot about diesels or like know anything about them, but I, I know a decent amount about cars since we built that. Can't really see it, but we built, oh, I'll show you. Built this up a little bit from the junkyard, but come back over here. You can see it's got the turbo, it's a 7.3 liter diesel. I honestly don't know a lot, but. Just take a quick little walk around. Probably get new belts and new all that. Probably shine these up a little bit. Clean up. Clean up all these. And the guy said the fronts are definitely going to have to need new soon. And the rear are, uh, they're already kind of dry rotted. So we're going to have to get new. That's probably like 1200 bucks right off the bat. Started to get the bus seats to the curb. Definitely a lot of work. Just got like two there, but just look at the beautiful sight. The exhibit presents graffiti in the context of art. Did you do that? You're thinking. You can kind of see it, but this is day one already done with the bus. It's like 930 right now and uh, It's in that it's in the garage, but day one or night one with the bus a couple people a couple friends already pulled up Every single person driving by is waving at it looking at it like dude, I think so Got the neighbors pulling up, but day one or night one with the bus is done. Tomorrow, got some big plans if uh get get the uh, what I got done finished. So after that, start building the back bedroom, bunk bed, all that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.